Cathedral, we gave one more hug to St. James. And um, we're going to Fister. We're trying to find a way now to Fister. And uh, somebody told us the sun sets at Fister. So Santiago looks at the sun and they can see where Fister is. So we just need to go west, orient ourselves west and uh, get on our journey. We're leaving Santiago and um, nice natural um, scenery begins. It's a beautiful day again. Not too much sunshine. Weather is perfect. We met a lot of people that started um, the way with us. Like We met them along the way. Um, not a lot, but a few, maybe four or five. It was very interesting. The door made, to, made into a bridge. <coughs> We're on the outskirts of the city of Santiago. Look at the beautiful landscape. Musha, we don't know yet which, but uh, we're meeting a lot of people on their way back. They already went to those both places and now they are walking back to Santiago. We're gonna take a bus back to Santiago because we just don't have enough time and it's it's too hard to do both ways. But this is beautiful. down the hill. I love those stones, stone buildings, stone walls, fences, everything made of stone in this part of the country. There's our sign. Somebody decorated a little white house with little white flowers. Passing for a town. <coughs> Very beautiful bridge. Palm tree. Waterfall. Another enchanted forest. We're 
about kilometers, uh, one kilometer away from the alberga. My feet are hurting so much and I'm so tired today. I think I got some food poisoning from the bean soup. Oh look, there's a bridge. And I had to take charcoal and drink some carbonated mineral water. Mm, and I feel a little bit better, I can still walk. But that soup was so heavy on my stomach. Some ad for the albergue. <coughs> Beautiful bridge, but they have just some awesome bridges. There's actually a river. <laughs> Look at that. We arrived in the <coughs> village of our albergue. Look at this gate. Isn't that awesome gate? To have like to a castle. Maybe that is a castle. Who knows? It's just, it's just a house, but very fancy. Look at that. And all those hydrangeas. Wow. Very fancy. and we're leaving our alberga. It's a nice alberga. We have over 30 kilometers today, 30 kilometers tomorrow, and we're gonna reach Mishia and then maybe spend there a day and <coughs> then walk to Finster for our final destination. Mishia is known as the true end of the Camino. It's a little misty. Not rain yet quite. But drizzle. Nigera and 65 kilometers to Fister or Mushia. It's only like three to six kilometers difference between going to one place or to the other. And this is our path today. We're gonna go up and down, up and down, up and down. Galicia is very green, there's more moisture, rain, <coughs> a lot more things I'm seeing growing. Look, this luscious path, so beautiful. We're getting some sunshine, beautiful day, it's getting kind of warm. We're walking a little bit alongside the road. I think pretty soon I'm gonna go back to the woodland. There's some cows there. It's a, it's a cow country. It's a dairy area. There's a chestnut tree, then the eucalyptus plantation. Oh. Yeah, right there. 
and then some cities and the foothills. It's 50 kilometers to Easter and uh, probably like 47 to Musha. brief break. Look at the size of this palm tree. It's humongous in the diameter. Wow. It's uh, 6 in the afternoon and we have about 7 kilometers still to walk. Look at this beautiful view, the lake. Villages. It's seven, seven, ten in the afternoon, and we're about maybe three kilometers away from our destination. I'm so tired. My feet hurt. It'll be thirty-two kilometers today. Got to our destination. I'm so tired. And now we need to find an albergue. I think I see like a rainbow. I see the rainbow. The rainbow. There's a rainbow. The sky. We got here. Rainbow. 